I mean, we can't talk about freedom uh, without first talking about you know those that uh, protect our freedom. Um, That's right. Overseas and and then here on our own soil, uh, which is so near and dear to both of our hearts. For sure. It is big time. Big time. Yeah. If if you have been given this freedom to be able to do basically what you want and to be yeah. able to go and to make a living and to provide for your family and to um, do all of these things because of what these others have done, then it becomes a moral and almost ethical responsibility to like, who am I not to, um, and we're not saying you have to achieve certain benchmarks of success, but you have to be willing to go all in and give it 100%. Whether, whether, that's, not your, to. whether that's your business, whether yeah. that's your job, yeah. whether that's your marriage, whether it's you as a father or, 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 or as, a, as a mother, mm -hmm. you've got to be willing to go all in. You have the freedoms to do that now. Going back to what I said earlier, a man is someone that has the ability to go all in. Not only in all areas, but to be able to go all in on the area that they are focused on at that one second. So I get on this podcast, like the, my office right now is chaos. Like I have 12 different meetings today. I just got done recording one of my podcasts, but in this conversation, like I am all in on Ryan, 100%. As soon as we get off this, I am all in on the interview that I have with the guy coming in my office right now. And then I am all in when I leave my office today with my family at home. Like this weekend is gonna be the most incredible weekend with my 18 month old uh, daughter because I will be all in and squeeze every ounce that I possibly can from those hours that I have with her. And to me, that is the ultimate version of a man that has the ability to do so many different things, but has the ability to make you feel like you are the only person in the world when they spend time with you. When you look at the difference between the perception of freedom mm -hmm. and, what you have and what actually, what freedom actually is, and so, yeah. especially when you talk about financial freedom yeah. and and um, certain levels of success and the freedom that comes along with that. And so, what we want to kind of do is break that down a little bit and uh, give you maybe a little dose of reality, but give you um, some some real world. <laughs> A real world take on what actual uh, success looks like and the fact that it really doesn't come with more freedom, it comes with more responsibilities. But discipline creates freedom. Like, discipline is the ultimate freedom. Discipline doesn't necessarily mean that things are super structured. Discipline just means that you've developed habits over time that have given you the freedom to do whatever in the world you want.